Hey there guys, my name is Mike, and if you recall a couple of weeks ago, I put out a first thoughts video about Saints Row 4, I'll put the link to that somewhere in this video or something, uh, and it's a couple of weeks later, I've never enough finished Saints Row 4, and I kind of feel like I need to give you guys my final thoughts on the game, because let's face it, I pretty much enjoyed that game to hell, and let's just tell you about the game really. Um, so where to start with, let's start off with the plot, it's mad, the plot is absolutely mad as it is, um, let's face it, you essentially save the world, become president, aliens invade, shove you in a simulated version of Steelport, and then it's up to you to like go and rescue you like your little team, well not teammates, but your crew, your gang members from their own like little simulations, like build up enough forces and, go, and then go to fight Zinyak, the, the big bad guy in this main game. So it's it's nice to see like a return to Steelport, you know, I enjoyed Steelport from Saints Row 4 and the fact that they're actually like, I'm not quite sure how to make this, how to word this properly, but they've spruced it up to make it look more sci-fi to actually go with the game but the fact that they seem to have like a recycled steel pour in a way it just doesn't it seems a little bit lazy to me you know like I could have I wanted like something a little bit different other than the steel pour again I wanted something you know just something different you know what I mean other than going back to the same city from Saints Row the third but I you need to Keep in fact that this was originally meant to be a DLC for Saints Row 3 called Enter the Dominatrix, but due to publishing issues, it got cancelled and got made into a, well, not cancelled, but it got made into a full blown sequel. And you need to keep that in mind, really. But what the hell are you going to do anyway? So, yeah, that's pretty much the plot in a nutshell and the actual like city itself. So, the gameplay itself is. It's a sandbox. Let's face it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you how to do how to play in a sandbox. You can go around doing various activities, collect collectibles, like run over grannies if you want to, and then you can do the main missions. Um, it's fun. I'll admit it. The amount of times I have spent drop kicking old ladies in the face and just causing random firefights in the street is unbelievable. And the actual like weapons you can use in the game is absolutely pretty. It's it's the whole game is pretty much mad as it is. It's like you can pretty much run around with like your typical like straight up gangster like dual wielding pistols and stuff. You can run around with an assault rifle, a rocket launcher, or if you're feeling completely and utterly mad as I was, just run around with a dubstep gun and blow things up. Let's face it, that's just pretty much fun as it is. Uh, where, where else to go with this? Um, superpowers. You got superpowers in the game, which is it's all right, but it makes you seem like. You see, it makes you seem too powerful in a way, you know, like, you can literally freeze people, you can set people on fire, you can throw people, you can stomp the ground to make things explode. There's even an ability where you can actually, like, cover yourself in fire, ice, or lightning, and it literally, like, spreads out. It's like a buff or something, I don't know what... I don't really know much about it, but it seems like with the addition of superpowers, it does seem a little bit, like tipped in your favour in a way, you know. Even with the sprinting and the jumping and the flying and all that, it just seems... It just seems like they make vehicles obsolete in a way, you know? It's, you know, I've, the amount of times I've, like, like, literally ran down the highway instead of driving, it's just... It, you just tend to use sprint just because it's more effective, it's more fast And if you get unlimited sprinting, then it's just... It's just pretty much just, just that, that. Well, yeah. They actually, they, then they actually, like, um, in, like, some some instances, you can actually, like, lose your superpowers just for, like, about a few seconds to make you, like, feel like you're vulnerable again without the superpowers. And, well, yeah, without the superpowers. Um, it, it's nice, but it just doesn't go in a way. You know, like, you do actually lose your superpowers for, like, a couple of missions in the actual game, game because you do get loyalty missions for your squad, not squad mates, your crew. The amount of times I've tried to say squad mates and all this is just unbelievable because this game does take referencing to other games, you know, like, it, there's even a complete level where you just play it, where it just takes the make out of, um, Metal Gear, where you, like, li you can literally, like, climb into a box and stab people in the throat, that's, like, the amount of, like, referencing that's actually going into the game, but it's not making too much of a reference, not making too much of a reference, really. Uh, let me think, is there any more I can think of? You can actually go into like a 2D side scroll or beam up game in one of the missions. Like, uh, that's just mad. The amount of variety in this is just absolutely bonkers. You know, so yeah, that's it. Um, so where to leave this off, in fact? So did I enjoy it? Yes, I did. I did enjoy it because it's a fun game. That's what games are meant to be. They're meant to be fun. It's, it's different, is what I'm trying to say. It's. It's, eh, uh, instead of being all, like, suit and tie and all, like, business, like, yes, yes, we're going to do this, this, and this today, and you're not going to have any fun. It, it tries to be a more colourful clown kind of person in the office, you know, someone a little bit mad who likes to try different things, but not different because they did in Saints Row 3 and all that, because I was absolutely mad as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a fun game if you want 
it to be f if you're looking for some fun. If you're looking for something more like serious, as I said before, then this uh, might not appeal to you in a way. Um, would I play it again? Maybe, because there are achievements. Like, the achievements in the game, this is another, this is me just branching off in a way. The achievements in the game are weird, because it's like you can get like basic things like complete the side missions, complete the main missions, complete this secret achievement. No and complete this thing where you have to kill people with certain powers and all that. Then there's an achievement for playing the game for 40 hours. I mean, Jesus Christ, the amount of time I have put into my like my single like, game alone is just ridiculous. I'm up to like 20 hours or something. Like, the actual like, fact that I have to play it for another 20 more hours to actually get an achievement is just ridiculous. I mean, I'm not going to do that. I fuck the game is going all that, but still, I'm getting those collectibles. I want to like complete the game after all. So yeah, guys, um, that's my general opinion on Saints Row 4. It's... It's mad. It seems like it could have been a little. It could have been better. It could have been a little bit better. That's all I'm saying. Like maybe in a different city. Like just, I just wanted something a little bit different. You know, other than just like Saints Row 3, but with sci-fi. If you that kind of like gets my point across. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much why I'm going to wrap up this video. So I'm going to leave you guys with a question. For those of you who have played Saints Row 4, what was your general opinion of the game? Because I do like to hear you guys' opinions on what. You actually thought of the game, not just my, just not just me rambling on and on and on. So yeah. Um, also, what do you guys think of this new series? These new, this new series I'm doing. You know, like the first and final thoughts thing, because I'm trying to do things different on this channel, as you know, other than just like typical like let's plays and dicking about with mates and all that. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave you with that, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos by myself, and I'll see you guys next time.